Hello everybody, welcome to Praline's Deliciousness from the World of Art. The protagonist of this episode is Gabriella Benedini, born in Cremona in 1932. Right at the outset of her career, the vocation for art helps her earn some money by realizing decorations. After attending the Art Institute in Parma, Benedini continues her studies at the Brera Academy of Fine Arts in Milan. Over that period, she cultivates a fierce interest in literature, so much so that the young editor Arturo Schwarz, after reading her novel, presents her to the publishing house Gallimard in Paris. At this point, she decides to leave for Paris, but once there, she no longer engages herself in novel writing. Instead, she produces comic strips for the Catholic newspaper Bayard. She even succeeds in organizing her first art exhibition. Yet, after two years, she returns to Milan where she works as a children's book illustrator. In 1962, Bergamini Gallery showcases her first solo exhibition. At the beginning, Benedini is interested in the artistic languages of the mainstream, such as art and formal. Then shortly after, she embarks on a decisive path towards existentialism. Meanwhile, she also manifests great interest in alchemy. Alchemy is the discipline that, for centuries, has been trying to explain the laws governing matter and the close relationship between man and nature. Alchemy was revalued over the last century for its psychological and spiritual aspects. For example, Carl Gustav Jung discovered that researches in both alchemy and death psychology find their way through the language of symbols. In the full steps of this concept, Benedini executes a body of words in which the protagonist is a cloth of material that tends to reach a rational dimension represented by geometrical patterns. This cloth is evolves a torus, a sort of embryo, and successively, with the collaboration of Franco Mazzucchelli, it is transformed into an inflatable sculpture, the experience of which remains in a testimonial film. Benedini further takes inspiration from traveling, especially traveling across deserts. She now considers herself as a nomad in search of the profound meanings of things. What is seminal to her career trajectory is the invitation in 1984 to participate in a show in Ferrara that requires the artist to complete ideally the missing months of the sumptuous whole of the months at the Schifanoia Palace. Benedini, in charge of November, divides her masterpiece into three parts. In the upper part dedicated to the pagan divinity, she inserts a kind of celestial map with constellations. In the middle part, the moon, and in the lower part, 12 niches, some of which are disclosed, others are waiting to be discovered. Besides, the pending fresk with attached minerals considered as elements of mediation between celestial and terrestrial bodies. To Benedini, this art piece displayed at the 1986 Venice Biennial means above all the discovery of the third dimension and highlights her passion for alchemy through the in-depth study of melancholia of Dürer. Melancholy, a state of mind corresponding to the first phase of the alchemical research called the Nicredo, would be the ideal condition to explore the death of the soul and subsequently would lead us to the success phases towards a metaphysical regeneration. What's more, Duchamp, another expert in alchemy, establishes the idea of objet trouvé, referring to an abandoned object under a process that transforms it into a vehicle of poetry. Let's take an example. Benedini's sailing boats, created from the horns of the abandoned boats, are shaped in a way to accentuate the vertical dimension, transforming them into a means of communication between the earthly world and the superior one. Another series of extraordinary importance and beauty is that of books, containers of found objects. 
made of fragments of written pages. They bring to light a diverse truth that enables us to cover great distance of time and space. Benedini's books are coded messages that, like a magical formula, can transform discarded objects into precious ones, as the alchemical process can turn putrid material into gold. Her body of works includes other series ranging from sextants to goniometers to hearts. The sculpture I'm presenting you is entitled Glaciation, realized in 2003. The title refers to the theme of the changing states of matter, a theme so dear to Benedini. Obviously, to the artist, it doesn't deal only with the physical change, but also with the mental and spiritual one. It's an energetic work, rich of hidden meanings. Its subtlety and its elegance exert an attraction on everybody, even on the less experienced person. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Prolines, Deliciousness from the World of Art. <laughs>